I've always done very heavy side laterals. I do different variations. I do holding onto a bar, maybe a Smith machine leaning. I'll do them seated, I'll do them standing two arms. But my favorite to go heavy is standing one arm at a time. I may go back to that at the end of my workout and finish up with it. I'll always switch it up. I haven't done these in a very long time. But side laterals, heavy, will give you that cap and that thickness. Presses, of course, are very important, but to get that width and that three-dimensional cap, I attribute for myself, my experience and my physique, side laterals heavy. Never did any fancy workouts for shoulders, always kept it basic. I'll do upright rows nowadays, one arm at a time, because it puts a lot of stress on my shoulders when I use a bar. I'll do one, sometimes two presses, these side laterals, and some rear delts, that's really it. Just really focusing on contraction and that mind-muscle connection. You could do a lot less work in a workout session, but if you're getting a full contraction on every rep, you're gonna have more muscle damage, more muscle tissue being broken down and rebuilding. So it's better to do, pay attention to your form, squeeze, go a little slower. As heavy as you can go with good form and contraction, rather than just going through 10 different exercises, three, four sets each, and throwing weight around. It's bodybuilding, not weightlifting. So one thing I can tell you guys, especially, not even you beginners, but everybody, intermediate guys, you gotta pay attention to what feels right. Pay attention to uncomfortableness, aches and pains, and muscle contraction. Especially with some little injuries, I have like inflammation in my left shoulder, the labrum. It's not a serious injury, but it comes and goes, it gets inflamed, I get therapy, it helps, and it, you know, sometimes it's worse than other times. I'm careful. I don't just say, fuck it, let me push through the pain and hurt myself. So this is like the second week I've been doing dumbbell presses. And uh, last year I was going up to 140s. Those that I just did for the last two sets were 120s. It's good enough. I can push and go a little heavier, but then I'd be putting my shoulder in an awkward position, maybe inflame it, maybe hurt it. And then for the next two weeks, I won't be able to push as hard. So it's, it's better not to push yourself all the way to the limit or max if you feel like you have an impingement, an ache or pain, a tightness, a soreness. You gotta lift smart. This is consistency. Bodybuilding is day in, day out, every week, every month, every year. So if you go full blast and you do something stupid, you train hard for six months and then you're out for six months, you're out for a few months, it doesn't make sense. You want longevity. You wanna be able to continually be growing and progressively increasing either strength, volume, or intensity. So you gotta train very smart. And at this point in my career, I've been training for a long time, I'm just trying to train to make the certain muscle grow. I know that sounds like, duh, that's what everybody's trying to do, but a lot of times, a lot of us, you guys, including me, will just go through movements, go through exercises that we think we have to do, and just push the weight, push as heavy as we can, get X amount of sets or reps and keep it moving. I don't even count sets and reps anymore. I go by feel. If I did four sets, 12 reps, 15 reps, and I feel like I get a great contraction, I'll change something, maybe the angle, maybe the weight, and I'll do another one. So pay attention to that mind-muscle contraction, to the pump, and to fully, fully engaging the muscle you're training, and trying to not use secondary muscles that'll take over the movement. We're never training one muscle. It's not possible to isolate. It's almost, it's literally impossible to isolate one muscle, but we want to put the load on that muscle as much as we can. So keep that in mind. So doing rear delts like this, rather than bending over, standing up, there's zero momentum, zero swing, and they're burning. 
I can do them standing kind of bent over and I go a little heavier than this and I have pretty good form but there's still some sway, a little bit of movement. So with this, there's absolutely no movement and I feel the burn. <laughs> 